So welcome back to the anime news for the week ending February 2nd, 2018. Starting with a new anime announcement, always exciting. Uh, a new anime work called Starwing Paradox has been announced uh, with character designs by Yoshiyuki Satomoto, who did the designs for Neon Genesis Evangelion, Naughty the Secret of Blue Water, Summer Wars, and other things. And you can see the art over, over here. Um, now, interestingly, this has been uh, described as a major project, but we don't know what medium or media. So they haven't mentioned anime, manga, whatever, but I'm assuming an anime. The staff is mostly uh, Gundam people, or people who worked on Gundam in one way or another over time. Uh, shows including Iron Blooded Orphan, Gundam Age, Gundam Unicorn, um, as well as other projects as well. So, um, should be interesting. Um, they teased more information coming um, uh, uh, later on this week. So, we will find out what that actually is. They've already um, uh, cast several members of the project. But uh, that's cool. More anime coming. Moving on. Um, more news from Sunrise on the next Gundam Build anime series. Gundam Build Divers will be coming out this spring, so pretty darn soon. It is set in the Gundam Build universe, where kids and young adults take Gundam model kits and, put, and fight with them in arcades and play essentially video games with Gundam model kits. Um, so Gundam Build Divers was announced with a uh, preview video. It's 14 minutes long and is essentially a short episode of the show introducing the concept, but not including the, the main characters. The main characters show up at the very end, basically. So introducing the, the visual style, um, you know, some music, things along those lines, and the changes in the show's concept. You now have more characters fighting at once, and you now have avatars. So when you're piloting, you can make yourself look like whatever you want to as long as it's humanoid. You don't just look like yourself. So you can have a uniform on, or you can look like a furry. So they have an anthro mouse as one of the main pilots in the show. Now, it's a, it's a regular human. He just has this sort of CGI avatar while he's piloting. And it looks pretty cool. So um, that's going to be an interesting twist of seeing all of these... Uh, these things in Gundam. And I'm sure we'll get some some uh, concerns from folks saying, oh, you know, furries are taking over my Gundam. Whatever. So coming in spring, more Gundam build. Moving on, some bad news for scanlators. Five Chinese nationalists, or I'm sorry, five Chinese nationals, different, were arrested uh, recently for essentially publishing scanlations, allegedly. Um, publishing those on Weibo, in China, uh, allegedly, these five Chinese nationalists, again, Chinese nationals, uh, apparently translated, they're accused of translating 15,000 manga items. I assume that means pages. So that's a lot of manga, uh, including uh, some Yu Gi Oh! manga and Kimi ni Todoke over the course of years, it looks like, um, uh, recent years. And so they've been arrested. And we'll see where that goes. Um, they could face up to 10 years in prison and or up to $90,000 U.S. in fines. So crack down on these scanlations in Japan. Moving on to good news for fans or potential fans of Okoto Shinkai's Your Name. Anime Limited has announced that uh, that is now available on a number of, of uh, digital platforms. So you can watch Your Name on Amazon Video, iTunes, PlayStation Video, or Sky Store subbed or dubbed. It's also available on Google Play and the Microsoft Store with the English dub. So plenty of options if you want to watch your name. Go out and uh, uh, give it a watch if you haven't already and you're interested. That's, it's quite the impressive work. Also good news for Viz Media. <clears throat> ICV2 recently published their NPD book scan top 20 manga list for 2017. So they are the, these are the top selling volumes of manga in 2017, and Viz Media published all of them. So they're doing something right. To be clear, the first one is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1, then My Hero Academia Volume 1, then The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Adaptation Volume 1, 
The Legend of Zelda Legendary Edition Volume 1, One Punch Man Volume 1, and then um, More Tokyo Ghoul, Legend of Zelda, Death Note, Black Edition Volume 1, uh, Dragon Ball Super Volume 1, Boruto Volume 1, um, um, and then the rest are all other volumes of My Hero Academia and One Punch Man and, and others on that list. So, yeah, good job, Viz. You're doing the right thing. Finishing up with a feel-good story, because why not? <clears throat> there was some worry a little while ago about sezai Song. sezai Song is the longest-running anime series, and indeed, longest-running anime, animated TV series in history. It started in 1969, and they're still making episodes today. But their main sponsor, Toshiba, announced they were pulling out of their sponsorship of the show after many years. And this is a, a, bit, a bit worrying. Uh, bids went out to ten different, about 10 companies. And Nissan has announced they will be stepping in as the major sponsor of sezai so the show will continue. Uh, Amazon Japan, Nishimatsu Chain, and Daiwa House have all announced that they will also chip in as sort of minor sponsors, with Nissan as the, the, the primary sponsor of the show. So, sezai will continue going on, and that's, that's, that's a good feeling. So, that's all the news Fit to Print this week. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope to see you next week.